Hi dear friends, it's Pastor Graham standing in for Pastor Frank as you know is on sabbatical at this time. I do trust that this week so far has been a blessing to you and that you are staying close to the Lord Jesus Christ. Would like to know how did you find the series on Nehemiah last week? I'm sure it was very inspiring and encouraging as our brother Mike uh, Cranford spoke about when everything goes wrong and he challenged us as Christians to continue trusting God um, in those times. Uh, the sermon series continues this Sunday and Mike will be covering uh, the revival that God wants to start with us. So do tune in or come along even better to come and uh, hear the continuation of this short series on Nehemiah. Um, I want to personally just thank you all for your prayers for my dear wife BJ. Last week was a very stressful week for us. Um, she went into a hospital in LA at the cardiology uh, uh, hospital and um, we found out that her heart condition was far more serious than at first thought. Um, so she has now had a pacemaker fitted and this has just given her a new lease of life for which we really praise the Lord. But I want to thank you for your concern and love and prayers. We have seen God work His ways um, in and through this situation. Um, just to remind you that our forthcoming events, uh, August 7, please make a note of that, is our Fun Day Sunday. Uh, from 12 o'clock after the morning service to about 3 o'clock and we've got lots and lots of goodies and good things lined up for you if you will come bring your families and friends to Fun Day Sunday. Then just finally to remind you that we still are looking for tech volunteers. If you um, are a tech support person uh, we need your help up in the sound desk and the uh, um, recording of our services. So if God places that upon your heart, we would be grateful for you to come and share your uh, gifts with us. Just remember that God loves you and that He is in control of all things. No matter what we go through, God knows and understands us and He is with us. He has promised never to leave us or forsake us. And dear friends, we as a family certainly experienced that this past week. So, God bless you and keep you close to Him. Thank you for listening.